spring meadow, a soft shallow by nature hollowed, poppy hues for mist perfumed, the languid wind presides, the doe in springs abide, soft eyed and timid lipped, your unsteady gait trembling swayed, wryly tripped, young steps and lure away to land so much stranger than fay. By heart accord, speak the soft words of summer, that luscious ward from winter's alluring wonder. Spread, docile creature, your quivering color. Oh, what so shy a laugh should ears inflect your skittish neck to hold such wild will in check. And all this well from some meeker swell. For such flutter escapes only from under the mountain's breath, a sound, a shudder, a moment's breath. The doe in stride, steep still and tranquil sigh. Thank you. Yeah! Woo! This next poem is from the future and it's about the past. <clears throat> Hear me now from where I stand, of the time before, of the fall of the age of man before the age of ruin, before the age of rust, before the age of fire, blood, and dust, there was a hunger, there was a curse, there was a thirst which cried more, 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 and it drank from all the lands and all the shores, it drank in both darkness and in light, well past the hour of the clock which ends at midnight. It drank until the pale man came and took away the rain and his black-winged angels sang the song that unmade the world. Let's summon the wolf that ate the sun and spit its fire upon the earth. Hail Trinity, hail commerce, all hail that ancient curse, that beast which ate the green and begat the waterless flood, that monster with money for blood sings discord to the fairest, to the most, to the grave, with the entire host, the least crushed under a pacer's plunder first. But at last the head of the beast drew its final gasp as the mad laughter of the pale man rang and his voice took and touched all the air. Cacophony and canticle he sang, look upon your works ye mighty and despair. Thank you. Next poem.